Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the Fantasy Heavyweight Tournament Rankings. As this video, we're going to look at my number 18 heavyweight based on points coming into this tournament. And that is the former WBO Heavyweight Champion, Joseph Parker of New Zealand. Now before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Joseph Parker um, out of New Zealand, um, you know, and again guys, the heavyweight tournament is coming once I'm done with all these individual videos. I will start announcing the matchups and we can all take votes. So anyways, Joseph Parker, um, this guy, good solid heavyweight, uh, <clears throat> former heavyweight uh, champion, kind of underrated. Um, he, uh, in total, he only had four title fights going three and one as his record. He burst on the scene um, out of New Zealand when, really in 2015, he stopped uh, Kali Meehan, who was a former world title challenger, uh, many years before. He stopped him in three rounds. Then from there, um, actually took on Carlos Takam and got a unanimous decision over him. Um, this led to a... A fight with Alexander Dimitrenko who he knocked out in October of 2016 and that made him the top contender in the WBO and then Tyson Fury would vacate all his uh, titles that he had taken off of Vladimir Klitschko so for the WBO title um, Joseph Parker would get a big opportunity at home in New Zealand against undefeated Andy Ruiz Jr. Ended up being a pretty good, solid fight between the two. But Parker, um, you know, would walk away with a close, somewhat controversial 12-round majority decision and would capture the WBO title. This would go down basically as his most significant win, um, a title fight win. And he would, um, you know, become the champion. It was, it was deemed controversial, but be that as it may, he was still the champ. Not a lot of people knew him. He was only 24 years old. In May of 2017, he would defend the title the first time against Razvan Kojanu and got a 12-round unanimous decision. Then in September of 2017, he would take on undefeated Huey Fury. And in a kind of an ugly fight, he would score a 12-round majority decision win and retain his title again. Then in uh, March of 2018, he would get a golden opportunity to unify belts against undefeated unified champ Anthony Joshua, who held the, the IBF and WBA uh, titles. This was a big fight because Joshua was the hot commodity now in the heavyweight division. He had knocked out Vladimir Klitschko the year before and was trying to, <clears throat> you know, leave no doubt that he was a top guy in the division and unifying all the belts again was only going to boost the winner. Parker came in the underdog. He would go over to England. He would fight as best he could, but Joshua just kind of pecked away with a jab. It was kind of an uneventful fight. And after 12 rounds, uneventful rounds, the judges gave Joshua the victory by a 12 round unanimous decision. And just like that, Joseph Parker was no longer the WBO champion. Since then, he's not been in a title fight. He's tried to get back in the mix. He lost his very next fight to Dillian White in an all-out war. They went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Um, White uh, almost, um, he would, Parker would almost knock White out at the end um, in a great fight, but Parker would lose a close uh, unanimous decision. Then he would win his next, uh, I think, five fights. Um, actually, no, six fights. And he capped them off with a, with two fights against Derek Chisora where he went to war with Chisora and got a split decision in the first fight. And then seven months later, he took on Chisora again in 2021 and got a clean but hard-fought 12-round unanimous decision as Chisora came on strong in the end. But Parker was, um, you know, from there, he would get a big opportunity to fight for the WBO interim heavyweight title against Joe Joyce, the undefeated juggernaut. And Joyce was a man on a mission. Parker would fight well, 
but Joyce was just too much as he would break down Joseph Parker, stop him in the 11th round, and become our, and become the WBO interim champion, and that would set Parker back again. But then Parker, um, after um, kind of three so-so wins, where he was just staying active, he would get a big opportunity on the Day of Reckoning card in December of last year, where he would take on former longtime heavyweight champion Deontay Wilder. And he would defeat Deontay Wilder, uh, stepping into him and not allowing Wilder to extend that big punch, outbox him, even hurt Wilder, and walk away with a clean one-sided 12-round unanimous decision. And this put him on the move in the right direction. Then he took on Gilles Zhang less than three months later on the Joshua Nagano undercard and would defeat uh, Zhang to become the WBO interim heavyweight champ. Uh, after being put down twice, he came back and got a 12 round majority decision. Now Joseph Parker is a serious player again. He's one of the top four or five heavyweights in the world, and he's looking to become the top dog and get a big opportunity. But his title fights are done for the, for the millennium so far, so we have to judge him based on what he's done. And his biggest win was the win over Andy Ruiz. His loss was an uneventful loss to Anthony Joshua, but he has come back to beat a former champ in, um, in Deontay Wilder. So I think factoring in everything, you do have to factor in, but um, we'll discuss this a little more on uh, when we're getting into the matches. But Joseph Parker, tough style to deal with, unafraid, will fight anybody, good solid heavyweight of this, uh, of the, you know, this, uh, for this tournament. So very much looking forward to seeing if he can make it out of the first round. So that's it. That's what I got. That's my 20, that's my fantasy heavyweight tournament rankings on my number 18 heavyweight for this interactive tournament, the former WBO champion, Joseph Parker. Why did Parker not unify a belt? So well, he tried to. He attempted to unify against Joshua and he lost. So that's it. That's what I got. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.